Can I go further? Oh shit, that's a spoilers. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Sam's Play channel. My name is Sam and we are back to <clears throat> Walking Dead episode 2. Sir, uh, starved for help. I made, I said one uh, that uh, I will try to record everything in one episode, every episode. But clearly it's not gonna happen. <laughs> because I just find out that most of the episodes actually now are gonna be 3 hours. I don't have a such a oh. I know who you are. Good for you. Oh, I got another good one for you. Uh. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. When you got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Haha, <laughs> 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 there's the choices. Okay, we made. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. This game uh, series adapts to the choices you make. All right. <clears throat> what I was saying. Last episode, we stuck at a motel. Oh, well, decided to build a motel. Uh, base at the motel. I hate this guy with a heart attack. I'm hoping uh, uh, we're going to get rid of him very soon. Oh, no. Three months later. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, nice axe. <clears throat> Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Who are you? <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Uh -huh. So now they're going to be starving. Like, they'll be when looking I for food. I grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Ah. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Ah, that's well, good. Uh, Kenny won the abandoned. Uh, he's got the family to look after. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Ah, Seems he's, like he's got a problem with you in particular. Oh, I hate him already. I seriously hate him from the moment. He... <laughs> He's, uh, I, uh, he thinks I'm dangerous. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I yeah. know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, yep. Knock me flat. Yep. I don't like this guy. If I will have a choice between him and someone else, I'll choose someone else. L let the walkers take him. A crow. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. 
Come on. Yeah, if you would just waste a bullet now. And we would have to uh, waste the, the, the bird as well. Alright, that was a good call. That... Who are those guys? Jesus Why Christ. Why is Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided the camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Ah. Uh. We got to get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you got to hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Ah. Uh. It was making so much noise when the blood is gone. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Okay, so what should we do? Oh no. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kid, Cut his hair. Those walkers off Cut of his me. leg. <clears throat> He's lost so much blood already. Please, Please hurry up! Get me out of this! Please do something! Why would somebody do this? This is hurry! This Come is on, man! Forget it. We use chain like that at the airport. Come on, do donuts. something! You're not cutting through that. Okay. Come on. Try to get this chain. Something. How the fuck do you get these things open? We don't know. Oh, God. Let's it's go. Impossible. Let's go. It locks or something. Hurry! There has, has to be a way out of this. Way. Ah, there, 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 branch, 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 not that, not that, no, 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 there was a branch. Fuck. Please hurry. I want my leg, I want my leg. Damn it, Lee. Yeah. Jesus, those things are going to be here soon. Damn it. You don't have time for that. Ah, for the love of God, just kill him. I need to walk. There's so much blood. Oh, God. I'm going to have to cut you out. Lee, no, no, no. Keep going back forever. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh, god. Ah! Ah! Ah, he's gonna die either the way I probably would leave him. Ah! Probably leaving him would be the best scenario to be fair. Not gonna lie. I'm about to puke. Oh God. Shit. Yeah. Is he? He passed out. I tied it up. Tied it up. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Ah, uh, why did I do it? Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Uh. Come on, Travis. Oh, for the love of God, why are the kids this day? Yeah, he's dead. That's a bye. No! For the love of God, why? I, I, I don't understand. The, why the people don't have a self uh, preserved like this instinct? Okay, get the fuck out, you know? Like, uh, uh, we gotta move, buddy. Uh, yeah, that you in your rock. Kiss my ass. Oh, yeah, so tired, yeah? Why they decided to stay here? Like, I understand they say they are military, but military would not come so far. After a couple of weeks, didn't you realize that it's better to get the heck out? Uh, 
Stop it. Thank you. Jesus Christ, she in like the den den. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, oh, the hell what is that? Going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? We have would die uh, if we left him. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? I don't like him. I really don't like him. Like, literally, I really, really, I really don't like for him. Me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You only have uh, four food uh, items to ten hungry people. What the fuck? It is hard. I'm not gonna say it's it was it's easy to be a leader, you know, but it's I'm just saying it's easy for her to say just to stay there. I'm, okay, why can't we just go uh, uh you know actually all together to look for a food? Ah. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. Oh, no, 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 no. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes... I accidentally pushed the wrong buttons. buttons. Well, you've Whatever. done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Shit, I pushed the wrong button. I wanted to push one, but I pushed the... Uh... uh, wait, where am I supposed to go? Aha, uh -huh, it's everything blocked, okay. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. 
I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when... Everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I'm not gonna give him sure food. Hope so. He's uh, new to the team members. I'm gonna give it definitely to Claire, Claim, and uh, maybe to to the kid. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. Tiger. Dog. Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Uh, I don't like Larry, so fuck him. Back in a bit. I don't like him at all. He's a bloody scumbag. No, it doesn't matter. You know, he 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 proving and proving more and more useless. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Yep, I agree with him, man. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Yeah. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. It was a good idea. There is no point to stay here, man. I'm gonna give food to him. Want something to eat? Um... Crack and cheeses. Give half an apple, I guess. He's a joke. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Fair enough. Because uh uh the cr I'm gonna give uh, I think the apple to the boy. Hey Doc, how about a little food? I give half a apple him. Oh heck yes! Is there peanut butter? Yeah, you wish. What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. First, always the kids. Always the kids first. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I give him crack and cheese. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. She's my priority. The Claire, Claire is my priority. Uh, these ones I don't care. Like maybe I'll give him the beef turkey actually. Maybe. Not sure. 
They, you see Lily, she's to take care of the father. She's too loving him. Obviously, it's a family. So I agree with the, whoever this guy, new guy is. That's uh, At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. I agree with him that uh, he's the one that... that uh, Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Mm. Uh, what it was saying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I believe that. I believe this guy. That's uh, he. She, the little daughter, keeps sneaking him some food. You know. Oh, he's an old. He's uh, like he's sick uh, with a heart. Blah blah blah. Let 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 put him a little bit more. Let put him a little bit more. I know. I know. I know. It, it's you can't uh, do, you can do it other way. You know. So it keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Mm-hmm. So he's military. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Yeah, I'll take it. Ah, I'll give it to Larry. Help. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yep. Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I'm not gonna give you boots. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. I really hate him. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. You're not Lily make... thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Okay, how about we're gonna throw you out? Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. All right, so I have one uh, one more food to give away. No, but I have two, it shows me. It's interesting. Uh, I have beef jerky. I'm thinking to give it to the Kenny, but at the same time, I'm thinking to give it to actually to Larry. The reason, uh, because he's now got an axe. I want my axe back and I have to give it to them, uh, you know, to, to fix the protection for the walls and everything. Uh, Lily, Lily, Lily. Lily is the... Oh, wait. I can talk to her, I didn't know. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. Yeah, <laughs> not really, darling. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Uh, Fine. Uh, she's not going to take it. Uh, this one is not going to take it. This guy's a brand new one. I don't want to give him, even though he's a kid. Uh, so... 
it's very weird. Like, I, the military guy is will be on my hand, on my side if I'll give him. I ha I have a debate to to who to give. Literally, the beef jerky. Who should I give? The Kenny? Nah, he will. His family already purchased because I feed their uh, son, and they're already on my hand. So, ah, uh, effort. Well, let's give it to him then. Fuck it. Here, Larry. Ah, there is too. Okay. Well, Lee would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. And to oh, him as well. Man, just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Keep the last uh, piece to yourself. Uh, save the last piece for food some, uh, for someone else. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to him. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. I have, uh, it's a tough choice, but I have to make a choice. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Yep. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I don't know. I feel like military. Ken, Lee, come here, please. I feel. I feel like this. I should have had he? the woman actually not here. He lost too much blood. God damn it! I'm getting sick of this shit. Sorry. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. Yep. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Shit. What about the other kid? Oh! I don't I don't have a bloody What to do here? What the f wait? What am I supposed to do here? Aha! To the left, to the right. Get on with the damn way! Damn it! I have it! Uh, use the, the S, okay. Oh, shit. Ah! Uh. Shoot it! Fucking Larry, seriously. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. We're all infected. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We are all infected. We're all infected. Everyone. I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, 
We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Uh, we don't want any trouble. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Yeah, we've got Looks none. like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Uh, Why do you need food? gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Okay, that's not good. on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. that's a good, that's a good not. Wait, okay. Why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all I should have given it to her other food. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, um, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Okay, I should have given it to her. Lay it's damn the food, not the motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Yeah, Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Uh, you know, it seems like just yesterday. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Yeah. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Mm -hmm. well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Ah, Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine yep. knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Ask me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Mm. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I still people I, uh, think. I really what appreciate are they that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Now, why would you know? Not including the kids enough. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. Oh, oi, oi, oi. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping there's it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you lot know what? more We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you. <gasps> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Yo, take the uh, crossbow. Get to the dairy where 
it safe. Get the crossbow. Get the crossbow. Shoot him in the head. He's gonna be... My God, take the crossbow. Oh, Jesus Christ. People don't know how to survive in a post apocalypse or everything needed. Everything. Take it. I played with enough of this shit. <laughs> Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. How come you guys not been raided? Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Ah. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing. 4,000? amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Isn't 220 can uh, basically kill a person? This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Yeah. Lily, it's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Yeah, I don't really trust. Okay. Uh, does this offer applies to the rest of us? Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Ah, uh, don't, don't, don't push it, don't push it, but... Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here. Uh, Danny, uh, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? I I smell fishy about this farm. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that Net. fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make the place it's safe. Uh, we should uh, do whatever it can to help. Can uh, Let's make sure the place is Before safe. Before we can think about bringing our yeah. whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can I don't like it. I, you know, the one thing about this guy, he's okay, he's nice, but because he's too hungry and he wants the food, he wants safety, that's why he's like this. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. Yeah, that's not gonna help do anything about it, buddy. Hmm. Wait. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. 
Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hmm. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. We have to do it. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Our defense stops uh, walkers. Are we your first guest? So let's go. Yeah. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Okay, I feel like it, you found out the other survivors uh, have stayed at the farm. I feel like we're gonna find out those guys is like uh, eating the other people. Why am I? I, I have a feeling. Uh, that was the cannibals. Uh, the fence stops the walkers. Let's uh, fix the perimeter. Okay. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Mm -hmm. Let's go fix uh, the perimeter. I'm not gonna go we'll yet. get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we got to secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Yeah, 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 let me in. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. All right. So it's a very sensitive one. All right, they're using the uh, perimeter. Uh, oh, whoa, they're using a lot of fuel. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, mind if, uh, if I try mind to fix, if it? I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yep, that's a good idea, actually. So, let's go. Uh, we know there is a rope. Uh, the, 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 sorry, rope. The, the board is there. The rope, though. Hmm. Ah, oh, they have a... Oh. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully, we'll find out. Oh, my God. Yeah, I understand when you're hungry. They're all... All you'll be thinking of. Mind right. if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Hey, <laughs> did you just put it in the pocket, buddy? All right, I need a rope. Where can I find a rope, though? Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds uh -huh, good. Okay. All right, he's not allowing me to go there yet. Fine, it's his farm. I can't be that nosy. All right, let's try to fix the, that. But where is the another rope? I'm gonna find. I'm just trying to look. I can't find man. The board is good, but I need some rope. Where the fuck am I gonna find the rope, buddy? 
They didn't think about it. There's no rope. Hello. I'm just looking through the rope. I feel like the rope will be behind that barn. So right now I can't do anything here. Yeah. I can't fix it yet. Okay. All right, let's talk to the guy. Hey. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. The generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right, buddy, let's go. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Uh, what to do again? I forgot. Aha, uh -huh, okay. They go themselves. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. All right. There's one. Uh, okay. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Are you sure? Come on, let's push it off. What is that? Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. All right, let's take the, uh, the arrow. Take it. Disgusting. There you go, nice. Ah, oh, good. You're using actually axe. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Oh my god, this guy is a dreamer. A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Ah, uh, what do you mean? A deal with what do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I, I don't trust them. It's, they're too back. nice. If anything goes down. They're That's too nice. Thing. Thanks. There's another one. Oh, I see it. Uh, this one is alive. I can see. I can see he's alive. Ah, oh, for the love of God. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Uh, Christ. You, you want to fix it? Can't stop thinking about that. dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Ah, oh, come on. They come have on. to fix the I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's yeah. tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea.
They, did, why they never check first if they're actually dead? Wait. Holy fuck! What just happened? It's on. Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh shit! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Now there you are, boy! Lee! Get back here! The stuck in the dirt! You asshole! You fuck with him! Yeah, we'll take what we want. Aha, okay, 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 okay. Come on, buddy, a little bit, uh, but the love of God. We see we found it one. And now we have to uh, remove this one. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, shit, that hurts. Slowly steady, slowly steady. Ah, bloody guy there is. There's the dead guy. And he's alive. I swear to God, he's alive. What happened? Shit. What happened? We pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Uh, guys, we, we're not with that. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? We only pushed them a couple. Oh, come on, of course. Oh, shit. Use the arrow. Use the arrow. Oh, shit. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 buddy. Buddy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Close the, close the gates, close the gates, close the gates. Close the bloody gates. Lee, what's wrong? There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? No, really. Here? On our property? Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Hmm, this isn't safe as uh, they thought to... Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do yeah, is find true. a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, whoa. 
These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I agree. I uh, for once, I agree with uh, with Lyris. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember kid. seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Uh -huh, he's Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Uh huh. You had time to swing to fix the swing. What the fuck? I thought I'm gonna search, uh, fix it. They're storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Yeah. There's a Larry or what? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Is this a cow? No. That's a corn. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Larry, how the heck did you get in here? Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. I did. How could you all bring us to this place? I uh, take it uh, you and Kenny haven't made up. Uh, how do you feel about leaving the motor in? Uh, right. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. And we would be hungry still. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. It's his life and his hey, family. thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Ish. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hmm. There's a barn opening. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna stop if they, they would have a gun. I'm still confused about this thing, the, the uh, swings. I, I was trying to fix it, I was trying to locate it, but I couldn't, you know, I thought the rope would be inside. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room in the house, there's for a lot of rooms. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Yeah, I'm guessing. Damn, I wanted to uh, fix the swings. I'm a bit disappointed in that, man. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? Okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. 
I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Hmm. Yeah. I'm not That's sure not when. But one day, things have got to get back to normal. That's yep. good. I That's a good answer. Soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. They look happy. What are you doing? Yeah, the other way around doesn't work, yeah? Okay. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Ah, it's not what I wanted to answer. No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I should be I neutral. I cannot right. decide it with a Duck and Clementine move. deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. In any like these games, I'm always trying Don't to be neutral. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Mm, what I was saying. I'm tr always trying to stay uh, neutral. Because, you know, like, I don't know those people, most of the people. I haven't been from the beginning, so I don't know how, how it's, where is the truth, you know? Fellas. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell I agree. Yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. All right, Are I'll be back. Going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. And there was a safe. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you next episode. Uh, seriously, I was hoping to do it like uh, one episode, one long, uh, one, like one episode of uh, Dead Walking, and that would be a whole episode, about two to three hours, but my camera doesn't have so much memory, first of all. And second of all, uh, it's, it's not gonna... <laughs> I'm falling asleep sometimes when I'm looking at the game over than one hour, like straight. So... It's weird because it's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. Till next time, guys. Thanks so much again.
Thank you for watching my Let's Play. My sub had left with a golden smile. My content funny, you like it, honey? Come on, baby, just give it a try. And it's great.